That makes one for the trip. Joe Carmack, I'm from Spokane. Uh, I'm running mostly uh, blues, but I've started running black flow trails some now. I enjoy it a lot. It's sort of addictive. Today, we find ourselves in Kellogg, Idaho at the base of the Silver Mountain Bike Park, voted as North America's number one and favorite bike park for four years in a row. Located about 35 miles east of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and 70 miles east of Spokane, Washington, which is the nearest major airport, Kellogg is a small mining town with a rich history and uh, a new focus towards recreational activities and a really awesome bike park. If you're looking for a place to come party and get wild, Kellogg might not be the spot. However, if you're just looking to get wild on your bike, Silver Mountain Bike Park is definitely worth checking out. In this episode, we'll be going over some of the 40 miles of single track they've got up on the mountain, some of the lodging options they offer, and a couple of places that you might be able to get some good meals while you're in town. And we're also gonna check out the water park they've got right down here at the Silver Mountain Resort. Look at him stretching like he's an athlete. Yep, well-oiled machine. He's pulling away from me on the enduro bike there with the pedals. The trails at Silver are definitely not what we would call buttery or manicured by any means, so more travel is certainly going to help a lot of people have more fun at this mountain. In my opinion, I would love to ride this park on a downhill bike, however if you get here in the early springtime when the park first opens, you'll be just fine on a long travel 29er. Long trails, a lot of diversity in the trails, some big jumps, you know, if you want to hit the biggest jumps, this is kind of the closest place to do it. The mountain was founded in uh, the 1960s. It was called Jackass Ski Bowl. And then from there, it just kind of grew and grew and grew. And then uh, in 1990, we actually bought the gondola. So 30 years ago, and we opened in 1990 for summer operations. We have 40 trails for over 50 miles of riding. With nearly 3,400 vertical feet and a length of just over three miles, the Silver Mountain Gondola was the longest in the world until just recently when a Japanese resort beat the record by a matter of feet. We pull most of our riders from Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, just kind of like the inland northwest area. Lately, we've been getting more people from Bellingham, Seattle, and even from Missoula and Bozeman. The majority of what our like more experienced riders are looking for is just our very primitive, very uh, raw, natural, rooty with a lot of rocks and just like technical. Now the train itself is pretty steep, it's pretty rocky. Um, if you kind of get into some of the advanced level terrain, it's going to be very rooty and fun. The beginner trails, uh, we heard mixed reviews from people out on the mountain and here in the village. Uh, some were saying how fun and as much they enjoyed the beginner trails and then there were some that were saying it was bumpier and rockier than they expected. So, um, you know, take that for what it's worth depending on your skill level and your comfort with rocks and bumpy terrain. There are some great rides. You can get 45 minutes from the top down if you want to, if you're a fairly, you know, competent uh, beginner level rider. If you just stick to that upper zone, you're getting 800 feet of vert and have some um, pretty good terrain with some switchbacks that will get you back down to that chair and really give you a good time out on the terrain. We've been seeing a great boom of people who have never ridden before and just want to come try it out. So in the future, we're definitely going to be looking to expand our uh, beginner trails for families and people who've never done, done it before.
just got done riding wide open for the first time. Holy moly, it is wide open. Full speed, massive G catch berms. It was a, it was a good run to end our, our morning film session and have lunch because we worked up an appetite this morning. Although Kellogg is pretty limited when it comes to nightlife and a thriving downtown scene, there are a few good options worth checking out. If you're looking to socialize a bit, we suggest heading about 10 miles down I-90 to the historic town of Wallace, which is rich in history and character. We found the center of the universe. It's in Wallace, Idaho. After trying not to get run over by disgruntled locals while checking out the center of the universe, we decided to hit up the 1313 Club for some quality bar food and a very pleasant staff. Hill Street Depot and Bistro Pub. For a more local option or a post-ride meal, we highly suggest the Hill Street Depot, which is a short pedal from the village and has a solid list of options on the menu. This spot I've definitely been to a couple of times already and uh, it delivers. So, tacos are good though. Check them out. Chicken. Tasty. So, Maxis has sponsored our tour. They're helping us get around the, all, all these bike parks. Mm -hmm. Your tires are looking like they're a little bit worn out. Well, they've, they've been sliding quite a bit. Well, alright. Do you think you could put these on your bike for your I'm next sure. trip up here? Sure. Alright. What a deal. There you go. Yeah. Appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk with us. Yeah, my truck's right back over here. Cool. Have a good day. The thing I've learned both most is just let the bike go. Don't don't ride your brakes too much. So the best time of year to come visit is definitely the first month that we're open. We always shoot to open Memorial Day. What is your favorite run on the mountain? Uh, my favorite run on the mountain is Secret Squirrel. So it's a black diamond and it's kind of it's kind of off to the side, a little bit uh, hidden. But there's a lot of great like little drops and stuff and it really pushes myself as a rider to try to get better. So after three days here in Kellogg, Idaho, how does Silver Mountain stack up? Well, that really depends on what you're looking to get out of your bike park experience. If you're more interested in riding trails and getting rowdy on your bike than in a bar, this is definitely one of the best spots west of the Rockies. If you're a family, if you want to come and find a spot that you can camp affordably right near the mountain, um, get a great bang for the buck, you know, $39 for a lift pass and uh, 3,400 feet elevation, two chairs, this is a great place to check out. If you want to get into some outdoor activities, whether that's uh, being at the water park, which is technically indoors, mining tours, kayaking, fly fishing, off-roading, hiking, etc., there's definitely a lot of stuff that can be found in the Silver Valley region. The town's a little bit of a ghost town. There's not a ton to do in terms of dining and bar nightlife options, but Chances are, if you're like us, you're gonna be pretty beat down from having easily 10 to 15,000 foot days in the bike park. We stayed nearby at the Silver Inn, which is a little bit more affordable than the Silver Mountain Resort here in the village. The outside doesn't look like much, but the rooms inside are pretty clean and it is definitely affordable, so that is a plus. If you're camping, like we've seen a lot of people do, there is an awesome parking lot right across from the village here. I think it's like 15 bucks a night maybe, and that. That money goes straight to the trail crew for trail maintenance, which is really awesome. Kind of just tight and flowy and... Oh, God. Kind of makes you work the bike a little bit. I think there's some roots on this trail. So in a nutshell, that is the Silver Mountain Bike Park here in Kellogg, Idaho. It is definitely one of my favorite parks. If you want to come out and check out good trails, this place has them. 
kind of like one of those, I don't know, the rider's secret part. They're steep, they're technical, fast, rocky. If you wanna come get challenged on some really rough terrain, this is definitely a spot to check out and it's a lot of fun and a place I think you should come ride. So thanks for tuning in to our latest episode. Stay tuned because on the next stop, we're going to the East Coast and gonna be hitting a bunch of parks that we've never been to for the very first time.